see Jesus lifted high. Thank you all for coming to our, our healing mass. And so much healing comes through our eyes. And so much healing comes through our, our ears to hear the word of God, to hear testimonies that give glory to God, and to receive faith through our ears, to actually see Jesus, his very body being lifted up high. In a moment with Holy Mass, you'll have the opportunity to see Jesus face to face. And it's so important, we pray that the Lord bless our eyes to see tonight and our ears to hear, that our minds be full of faith and our hearts full of grace and our bodies full of healing. How many of you believe Jesus can heal us and fill us? Bienvenidos todos. Este noche así hemos cantado y si de nuevo podemos cantar eso estribillo por lo menos de nuevo. If we can just sing the, the, the choir again in a moment. Because esta canción está diciendo yo quiero ver Yo quiero, yo quiero ver a Jesús levantado sobre la ciudad de San Antonio. Yo quiero ver, yo quiero ver a, a Jesús levantado sobre mi vida. Y así mucha sanación viene por los ojos. Y mucha sanación de Jesús viene por medio de los oídos. De escuchar bien la palabra de Dios y los testimonios. Y significa concentración la pregunta es deseo hasta cual punto quieres Jesús levantado sobre tu vida hasta cual punto quieres sanación y liberación so vamos a aumentar nuestro deseo por Jesús levantado sobre la tierra so let's again sing we want to see Jesus lifted high with all our hearts with all our mind with all our strength Lord we want you Anticipación, que tú eres el Señor de nuestros ojos, tú eres el Señor de nuestros oídos y tienes el poder de salmar, sanar, y resucitar y renovar. Si sí, les invito que si pueden ponerse de, de rodillas conmigo ante el Señor, I invite you all to kneel for a moment before our Lord. Let us prepare for this holy mass. Let us ask Jesus to bless our, our praise, our worship. And Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless our ears to listen to the word of God tonight. Lord, bless Richard's testimony and the testimonies of our faith. Lord, we pray to increase in faith that we may receive grace, we may receive healing tonight. Señor Jesús, te rogamos por la gracia de aumentar nuestra fe, por la palabra, por los testimonios, por los sacramentos, de aumentar en la fe y así recibir tu gracia, recibir tu don de sanación. Y Mare María, llena de gracia, rega por nosotros. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, 
Rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. You may be seated at this time. We want to invite Richard to come forward at this time. Richard has a wonderful testimony of the amazing grace of how Jesus worked beautifully a number of times in his life. So después de inglés, voy a decir algo en español sobre este testimonio de la misericordia, la divina misericordia de Jesús. Richard, thank you. Thank you for calling. I just called him yesterday to share his testimony. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. Buenos días o buenas noches. Me llamo Ricardo Rodriguez. My name is Richard R. Rodriguez. I am a CCD teacher for St. Mary Magdalene for seven years and a Sir Knight for the Knights of Columbus for seven years. Hello. My name is Richard R. Rodriguez. I'm here to give you my testimony. I am a heart valve replacement survivor 2009. I am a stage four cancer, lymphoma, and bone marrow survivor 2010. I am a corona recipient survivor 2020. In 2010, I was introduced to the Divine Mercy by a cancer veteran at the VA hospital. I have been praying the Divine Mercy for 10 years day and night and still praying the divine mercy. Pray with faith. He is your alpha and omega. In God we trust. God gave me a second chance. I should not to be here, but he is the alpha and omega. If you are going through trials and tribulations, medical diseases, and etc. Whatever it is, pray the divine mercy by faith, now and forever. In God we trust. I have prayed 543 divine mercies for all the deceased corona patients and still praying for the disease. This would inc include, conclude my testimony to you and to my parish, amen. amen. Thank you. Yeah, amazing grace because Richard called me when he was in the hospital. Uh, was it the Veterans Hospital, Richard, that you were at? I think it was the Veterans, yeah, the Veterans Hospital. And we're like, okay, okay, God, into your hands we trust. And Richard did. He had a beautiful faith, a beautiful faith. Um, so he, he was one of the first in our parish per, our parishes to, to have the virus. And as you see by his faith, Thank you, Jesus. He is here with us today. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yay. So, I, de hecho, I must, I must in ese testimonio, pero gracias, gracias por esta introducción. Entonces, Richard tenía muchos milagros de Jesús en su vida. Es, es, de hecho, es, es un milagro que está aquí con nosotros. Porque hace 10 años uh, tenía así problemas con, con su, su corazón, Problemas con sus, sus huesos también, bastante problemas con cáncer de linfoma y ya yeah, así pasó 10 años. Yo recuerdo como carequista también tenía viniendo, pero con bastante debilidad, pero seguía en su fe. Y ese es el testimonio de la divina misericordia de Jesús. Entonces al final en junio o mayo, Richard tenía así el, el virus uh, en el hospital. Y fue muy grave, pero él, sí, sí, está correcto, 
puso su atención, en cambio de poner toda su atención en la enfermedad, y pobre mí será peor, él puso su atención en, en Jesús. Y bastante veces rezando con fe la coronía de la divina misericordia. Y así, mira, mira el milagro. So, esta noche, en el nombre de Jesucristo, por favor, pongan toda su atención, concentración. Yo sé, es trabajo y estamos cansados, pero toda atención, concentración esta noche en Jesús, nuestro sanador. Y con fe, Él va a hacer algo maravilloso en tu vida. ¿Tú crees? Um? Animo. Amen. So let's really take advantage of this evening. I know it's the evening, we're tired, and it's easy to daydream and think about other things. But if you, God, want God to work in your life, it takes work. We have to focus and listen and concentrate and give Him the glory. And by giving all our attention to Jesus with faith, He can work miracles in our life. Do you believe? <laughs> Can I hear an hallelujah? <laughs> so great. If we can have some more, more songs, let's all rise. And with all our heart, with all our guts, let's give glory to God on high. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Tenemos gracias de lo que vas a hacer. Nos amas. You love us. And so we praise you. We thank you. Tenemos gracias, Señor.
soy amado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy amado. Les invito a que pongan sus manos sobre su corazón. Y si pueden decir eso conmigo, en el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy amado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy amado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, el Señor, yo soy amado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy amado, perdonado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy perdonado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy perdonado. En el nombre de Jesucristo, yo soy Perdonado. Let's try in English, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I am loved, right? In the name of Jesus, I am loved. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, I am loved. In the name of Jesus, I am loved. Say it like you mean it with faith. All is needed is trust, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I am loved. In the name of Jesus, I am loved. In the name of Jesus, I am loved. Forgiven. In the name of Jesus, I am 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 healed. 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 In the nombre de Jesus, yo soy sanado. In the nombre de Jesus, yo soy sanado. Señor Jesus, gracias. Gracias por tu amor. Gracias por tu perdón. Thank you. Praise you. I bless you. And I love you for your love. In you, I am forgiven. Hallelujah.
God, you reign. You reign in our families. God, you reign. You reign in our bodies. And if you have any doubts, it's time to surrender. Surrender your home. Surrender your family. Surrender your body. Let God reign. How many of you want God to reign in your lives? Tu reinas, Señor. Tu reinas en mi vida. Y si tienes dudas, es tiempo de entregar tu familia, tu casa, tu trabajo, tu cuerpo, todo a Jesús. Es tiempo para entrar el reino de Jesús. ¿Cuántos quieren entrar esta noche en el reino de Jesús? Eh? Entonces conmigo, Señor Jesús, tú reinas. Tú reinas. Tú reinas en mi vida. Tú reinas en mi familia. Tú reinas en mi casa. Tú reinas en mi trabajo. Tú reinas en mi iglesia. Tú reinas en mi vida. Y tú eres el rey. Supremo. Todopoderoso. Maravilloso. Mi sanador. Mi vida. Y alegría. Aleluya. Te doy gracias, Señor. Te doy gracias. Te amo, Señor. Te amo, Señor. Yes, Lord, you reign. You reign. You reign in my work. You reign in my home. You reign in my neighborhood. You reign in the city. Lord, come with your kingdom. Come with your reign. We enter into your kingdom. We enter into your reign. And we love you. We praise you. We bless you. We thank you, we honor you, we adore you, we trust in you, we entrust ourselves to you. I surrender, surrender to you, all to you, Jesus, I surrender to you. So I invite you to close your eyes if it helps like me, so you'll concentrate, focus. Let's surrender to Jesus. Let thy will be done. Let thy will be done. Let thy will be done. Just let God's will be done in you. His will is for you. What is the will of God? For you to die or to live? <laughs> Death comes through the devil, but Jesus comes to give us life. Life. How many of you believe that Jesus comes to bring you life? Huh? Do not be afraid of this prayer with your heart, with faith. Will you pray with me? Jesus, thy will be done. Jesus, thy will be done. Jesus, hágase tu voluntad. Hágase tu voluntad en mí. Tu voluntad de vida en abundancia. Let your will be done in me. Your divine will of life, Jesus. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. La gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo y el amor de Dios Padre y la comunión del Espíritu Santo esté con ustedes. Today is the feast of Saint Monica, and with her prayers we pray for conversion. How many of you, like Saint Monica, would like to see the conversion of your family? Huh? <laughs> ¿Cuántos quieren ver la conversión de uh, a tu familia como Santa Monica? Que Santa Mo Monica rega por nosotros. Así es la buena nueva de la misa. Con Cristo, con Él, en Él, por Él, viene la comunión de los santos, el reino de los cielos en la tierra. So let us indeed prepare for the coming of the kingdom with the communion of saints by preparing our hearts, calling to mind our sins and the sins of our family, the sins of our church, our country and the world, let us prepare the way of the Lord. I 
confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Que Dios Todopoderoso tenga misericordia de nosotros, perdona nuestras ofensas, y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amen. Señor, ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad. Cristo, ten piedad. Cristo, ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad. Oremos. Dios nuestro, consuelo de los afligidos y acogiste misericordiosamente las piadosas lágrimas de Santa Mónica por la conversión de su hijo Agustín. Concédenos por la intercesión de ambos arrepentirnos sinceramente de nuestros pecados y alcanzar la gracia de tu perdón. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive reina contigo, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo es Dios, por los siglos de los siglos. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth. In you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy with all those everywhere, who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, the Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salmo responsorial. <coughs> Siempre, Señor, bendeciré tu nombre. Un día. Siempre, Señor, bendeciré tu nombre. Siempre, Señor, bendeciré tu nombre. Un día tras otro, bendeciré tu nombre. Y no cesará mi boca de alabarte. Muy digno de alabanza es el Señor, por ser su grandeza incalculable. 
Siempre, Siempre Señor, Señor, bendeciré, bendeciré tu, nombre. tu nombre. Cada generación a la que sigue anunciará tus obras y proezas. Se hablará de tus hechos portentosos, del glorioso esplendor de tu grandeza. Siempre, Siempre Señor, Señor, bendeciré, bendeciré tu, tu nombre. nombre. Alabarán tus maravillosos prodigios y contarán tus grandes acciones. Difundirán la memoria de tu inmensa bondad y aclamarán tu victoria. Siempre, Siempre Señor, Señor, bendeciré, bendeciré tu, tu nombre. nombre. Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Mateo. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. En aquel tiempo, Jesús dijo a sus discípulos, velen y estén preparados, porque no saben qué día va a venir su Señor. Tengan por cierto que si un padre de familia supiera a qué hora va a venir el ladrón, estaría vigilando y no dejaría que se le metiera por un boquete en su casa. También ustedes estén preparados porque a la hora en que menos lo piensen, Vendrá el Hijo del Hombre. Fíjense en, sus, en un servidor fiel y prudente, a quien su amo nombró encargado de toda la servidumbre para que le proporciona, proporcionara op oportunamente el alimento. Dichoso ese servidor. Si al regresar su amo lo encuentra cumpliendo con su deber, yo les aseguro que le encargará la administración de todos sus bienes. Pero si el sábado, el, si el servidor es un malvado y pensando que su amo tardará, se pone a golpe, golpear a sus compañeros, a comer y emborracharse. Vendrá su amo el día menos pensado, a una hora imprevista. Y lo castigará severamente y lo hará correr la misma suerte de los hipócritas. Entonces todo será llanto. Y desesperación. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. Así pueden sentarse. Concentrarse. <risa> prepararse. Esta es la pregunta que tengo para nosotros esta noche. Como yo, como ustedes, como nosotros podemos despertar nuestra fe en Jesús. ¿Cómo podemos preparar, concentrar y despertar nuestra fe para recibir su gracia, para recibir sus milagros? 
para recibir su sanación? Esta es la pregunta. So voy a primero uh, predicar en inglés y luego en español. Y esa es la pregunta esta noche. So it's just asking in Spanish, how can you, how can I, how can we wake up our faith? Tonight, the Lord is saying in the gospel reading, wake up. The Son of Man is coming. Would it surprise you if I said the Son of Man is coming tonight? He's coming here. Are you awake? Are you attentive? So faith, how can we wake up our faith so our faith is fully awake, fully alive, we're fully attentive, and we're fully expecting something from God because we're putting our trust, our faith in Him. And we're asking and we're trusting according to His word, according to His promise, we're going to receive something. We don't know what, but we know it's good because God is good all the time. And so how can we wake up our faith? That's the question tonight. And we pray, we fully be awake, and we can receive. Faith. F-A-I-T-H. Faith. It can stand for fully attentive in the healer. <laughs> Are you fully attentive to the healer? Fully attentive in the healer. This morning, I, um, I visited Martha, and I have her, her permission to share her story with you. She says, oh, please, please, share my story with everyone. Usually she's here, actually, on Thursday nights, Martha Sanchez, and she wants to give glory to God because of the faith that she desperately received, and with faith received a real a miracle in her life. You see, Martha was very attentive to see Mary Magdalene. Went to church all the time, prayer groups and everything. But she had this, ah, this complaint about her husband, you know, complaint about her family. And now all these complaints that they're, they're not as, they're not church going like me and, or whatever the complaints were. I don't know exactly what the complaints were, but she was complaining. It's called the stinky thinking, the hardened heart, maybe the flesh getting involved of just, just wanting, you know, I'm good. It's all about me and my husband's not good enough and had this bad attitude. This is what she confessed out loud and says, please share my story. About a month ago, Martha got COVID. She got the virus. And she said, who, me? I mean, why me? I mean, I, you know, and she got weak and she got very weak. And all of a sudden she was homebound. She really couldn't leave her house. She couldn't really expose herself to really anyone. And with her weakness and the fever came breathing. She actually had trouble breathing. And she got so desperate she called the priest, right? <laughs> when people get desperate, right? They're like, last minute, okay, last rites, call the priest. Well, I didn't get to the phone call in time. But Jesus did. <laughs> and this is what happened. She realized her sin. She saw that how she was blind, how she was deaf. She wasn't putting her faith in Jesus as much as in herself. And she couldn't see how beautiful her husband is. But now she's desperate. She's on her bed. And she seems like she's dying. And who is the one taking care of Martha? Her husband. Wow. What a great husband I have. And so she repented. She really repented from her heart and says, Jesus, forgive me for my bad thoughts that I had against my husband and family. Jesus, forgive me. And it came from her heart, not her lips, her heart. And she began thanking her husband. Husband, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking care of me. And then guess who showed up? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And she, she got stronger and stronger. And so finally, by the time I called her, she's great. But I went over and gave her the three sacraments of healing, confession, and communion. And she says, please share my testimony with everyone. 
Fix your eyes on Jesus. In a moment, I'm going to be taking the blessed sacrament as close as I can to you as we sing a beautiful song, Lord, I need you. I'm going to invite you with all your heart, mind, and strength right now during the sacrifice, during communion, and after communion with the blessed sacrament. Fix your eyes, Jesus says, as the bronze serpent was lifted high in the desert and all who saw the bronze serpent were healed. So the Son of Man will be lifted up that all who believe in him will be saved. Look at the story of the cripple. And Peter said to him, look at us. And this man born crippled looks at Peter and John. And what does Peter says? Silver and gold I have none, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus. Stand up and rise. And Martha was able to stand up and rise. An amazing grace. God forgave her and healed her. So how do we fix our eyes on Jesus? How do we fix our ears on Jesus? I want to challenge you. What are you putting in your eyes and ears? Because many of us are putting in too much violence in our eyes. It's very entertaining. All kinds of movies and videos. Or the, the impure things when we get desensitized because we see so much on the screen. Or we're watching so much news that we got the stinky thinking and again we got this heart and heart as if according to this world called media, it seems like God doesn't exist and we can believe in that and God can do nothing. It's time to repent and ask forgiveness any way we've sinned with our eyes, with our ears, with our mind, our heart, and our body and put all our faith in Jesus. How many of you tonight believe that if you truly repent like Martha, you'll be forgiven? Huh? How many of you believe that, okay, you repent of any way you sin with your eyes, your ears, your mind, your heart, or your body, if you fully repent and just place all those sins at his feet, and if you fix your eyes on Jesus and put your faith in Jesus, how many of you tonight believe that you can receive, if you ask, you'll receive something special, something good from Jesus? Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. So as I continue now in Spanish, I really want to ask you, challenge you to turn this time now into prayer. Just fix your eyes on Jesus. He's in the tabernacle. He's fully here. <laughs> Are you fully here? Right? Just, and turn this time into prayer. Just repent and give all your sins and the sins of your family to Jesus. Ask, and with faith you shall receive forgiveness and healing. Entonces la pregunta... Um, ¿Cómo podemos despertar nuestra fe? Hmm? Fe para recibir milagros, sanación, liberación. Es fácil de ser ciegos y sordos porque hay tantas malas noticias que están pasando ahorita y fácilmente podemos caer en depresión, desaliento, desánimo solamente será peor. Fácilmente podemos poner nuestra fe en las cosas malas y solamente será peor. Y así Jesús no puede hacer nada porque ponemos nuestra fe en las cosas malas. Yo sé, es un tiempo difícil en la casa, por ejemplo, hay mucho estrés con los niños en la computadora tratando de poner su atención en la escuela. Y hay, bueno, gracias a Dios por uh, la familia, pero hay mucha familia y no hay mucho lugar o dos padres tienen que trabajar y, y al final falta de finanzas o trabajo. Y yo sé, hay mucho estrés, yo sé, yo sé, es difícil. Pero me explico, en cambio de poner nuestra atención en las cosas malas, es tiempo de arrepentirnos y poner toda nuestra atención en Jesucristo. Amen. So Marta Sánchez me dio permiso de compartir su testimonio. 
Y quiero ponerlo en el boletín también. Que ella tenía malos pensamientos de su familia, coraje y rencor, pero guardaba, pero esos fueron sus pensamientos. Y ella muy activa en la iglesia, pero tenía esa mm, frustración e impaciencia con su familia, personas en su propia casa. Y de repente se enfermó y consiguió el virus muy débil, fiebre en la cama, dificultad respirando y pensaba, este es el fin de mi vida. Entonces, ¿quién cuidaba a Marta? A su esposo, a su esposo cuidando. Y ella de repente tenía ojos nuevos y oídos nuevos. ¡Wow! ¡Qué hermoso es mi esposo para cuidarme! ¡Qué hermoso! Y ella, por la primera vez, ella se dio cuenta de su pecado. Entonces, con todo su corazón, ella se arrepentió. Señor, perdóname, perdóname por mis malos pensamientos y actitud que tenía contra mi esposo y familia. Perdóname. Y así empezaba a agradecer y dar gracias. Oh, mi esposo, gracias, te doy gracias, gracias por cuidarme. Y con esa actitud nueva, ojos nuevos y oídos nuevos, me explico, ella tenía una nueva fe en Jesús. ¿Y qué pasó? Gracias a Dios, su sanación, su recuperación. Marta está mucho mejor ahorita. Aleluya, aleluya. Ánimo, familia, ánimo. Es un nuevo año, feliz año nuevo. Listos, listos para... Entonces, hay bastante ejemplos en la Santa Escritura de fijar los ojos y los oídos en la voz y la presencia del Señor. Y así, con esa atención, concentración, fe en Dios viene los milagros. Muchos ejemplos en la Santa Escritura. ¿eh? Y eso es lo que va a pasar, así sea ahorita. ¿Listos? <ríe> en el sacrificio. Y luego con la, el, la custodia. Fijen sus ojos, sus oídos, su fe. Pide con fe. Y así de Jesús con fe vas a recibir milagros en tu vida en tu familia, en nuestra comunidad, así sea, por Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. eterno, te ofrecemos el cuerpo, y la sangre, el alma y divinidad de tu Hijo, amadísimo, nuestro Señor Jesucristo, como propiciación de nuestros pecados y del mundo entero. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. So let's lift up Jesus to our Father. How many of you here need physical healing, that your body needs healing, whether it be your heart or your blood or your bones or any other illness? Raise your hand high, right? ¿Cuántos ustedes tienen una enfermedad en su cuerpo y que necesita sanación? Levanten sus manos. ¿Cuántos ustedes tienen alguien y estás aquí en intercesión por por alguien en tu familia, en amistad, alguien, entonces con tu otra mano puede levantarse, hay otra persona que está orando en intercesión. So if there's someone else that you're praying for that needs physical healing, you can raise up and lift up your other hand. Lord Jesus, receive these hands. Receive these bodies. Receive these prayers. And with faith, Lord, may we receive your response of divine healing. Tu respuesta de sanación divina. Con fe, oremos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. 
How about the mind? Anyone here need healing of the mind? Anyone suffering from fear, anxiety, worry, stress, doubt, depression? Any other stinky thinking? Okay. Anyone need healing of the mind? Huh? Or do you know someone who needs healing of the mind? All the, 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 the negativity, the complaining, just focusing on all the bad things, and they're just in a bad place. And they need healing. They need what's called deliverance. ¿Cuántos ustedes necesitan sanación de su mente? Tienen mucha ansiedad, preocupación, estrés, miedo, depresión, desaliento. Vamos a entregar todas esas cosas a Jesús. ¿Y cuántos conocen personas que también necesitan sanación de la mente? Se quejan mucho, toda la atención a las cosas negativas. Vamos a pedir perdón por ellos y pedir perdón por nosotros mismos. Señor Jesús, entregamos todas esas enfermedades de la mente a tus pies y en cambio de tu mente, de tu corazón, que recibamos sanación, santa paz. So Lord, we just release to you all these illnesses of the mind in exchange we receive from your most sacred mind, the gift of divine peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, any, anyone here need healing of the heart? They just got this, they can't forgive. They know they're supposed to forgive, but they, they just can't forgive. Or if you know someone, if you know someone who should be forgiving, but they can't forgive, they're proud, they're arrogant, they're conceited, they're self-righteous, or they're just so full of anger, or they don't believe, they don't believe in God. Huh? Do you know anyone who needs healing of the heart and deliverance? Huh? So, al final, última oración es por alguien que conoces o quizás ti mismo en algunos casos, que, que tienes dificultad en perdonar. Es muy difícil perdonar. Tienes mucho dolor, entonces mucho coraje, así hasta rabia o odio o frialdad. O conoces a alguien que está sufriendo así o no creen y tiene un corazón muy duro y necesita sanación. Señor, recibe, recibe esos corazones duros, sana esos corazones, y llena esos corazones con amor para amar y perdonar. So Lord, we pray that you receive these hurt, hardened hearts, heal these hearts, and give them, fill them with your love, give them the power to love and forgive. We pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Por su dolorosa pasión. Entonces, si pueden, si pueden levantar sus manos, vamos a dar gracias a Dios. Señor Jesús, gracias. Gracias de escuchar y recibir nuestras peticiones. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. And thank you with anticipation of your answer, your response of divine mercy and healing. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As we ask all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Let's be seated and continue to pray. Continue to give thanks. All your attention on Jesus. We'll have a, a collection, so any way you can contribute to the body of Jesus, the body of Christ, the church, we thank you for your contribution, your participation, and most of all, your attention on Jesus as we lift him up to our Father.
que este sacrificio mío y suyo sea agradable a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Que el Señor reciba tus manos en este sacrificio. Alabanza y gloria a su nombre. Para nuestro bien y por su santa iglesia. Que te sea aceptable, Señor, la ofrenda de tu pueblo santo en la conmemoración de Santa Mónica y concede que por la participación en ese sacramento demos pruebas de tu amor. Por Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts by their way of life you offer us an example by communion with them you give us companionship by their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses we may run as victors in the race before us and with win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Santo. So they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Thanks, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, Mike, his assistant, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. del Salvador y siguiendo, siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo, danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en tentación. Y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador, Jesucristo. Tuyo es el reino, tu el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, y conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Dense fraternamente la paz.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus wants to say the word, be healed. Only say the word, Jesus, and I shall be healed. As you approach Jesus, it's the Lord Jesus who's approaching you. Let him love you. Let him heal you with all your heart, mind, and strength. Behold your healer who comes to love you. So we'll begin with the last few. Thanks to our ushers. Thank you, David and Candelario. And we'll be moving forward few by few. We invite you, of course, to keep social distance. And please keep your masks on. Make a beautiful throne for your king if you are in communion with Christ and ready to receive him with faith. The body of Christ, amen. And then as you move to the left or to the right, then you can take off your mask and consume the body of Christ. If you're not... If you need to go to confession first and have your doubts, just come forward if you'd like to receive a blessing. Jesus is looking deep into your heart and wants to bless you. So, así tenemos um, este momento de sanación. Una palabra tuya, Señor, basta para sanarme. Es tiempo con fe acercarnos a nuestro sanador, quien te ama. Así vamos a empezar con la última banca, con distancia, cubre boca, mano abierta, amén, o oh, una bendición. Vamos a prepararnos y así totalmente recibir Jesucristo en nuestra vida.
Lord Jesus, please cover us. Cover us as you cover the homes of the Hebrews in Egypt. Let the angel of this virus pass over us and protect us, shield us, and guard us, and fill us with life. Señor, cúbrenos con tu sangre preciosa. Y ahora llénenos. Llénenos con tu presencia. Familia, les pido el favor que me acompañe. ¿Qué quieren pedir a Jesús? ¿Qué quieren pedir a Dios? En un momento voy a acercarte. Dice el Señor Jesús, ¿qué quieres de mí? Pide y vas a recibir con fe. Jesus is asking you, what do you want me to do for you? Be bold. Be confident. He loves you. And he's asking you, what do you want me to do for you? With all your heart and mind and strength, gather your requests. And give your requests to Jesus. 
and let Jesus give his response, his love to you. Let us pray. De pie. May the work of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of blessed Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we pray that the Holy Spirit lead me and lead you. Uh, if you have to go, that's understandable. God's working in your life. And in a moment, I'm going to give you the final blessing. But for those who can stay, I'll be walking by with a blessed sacrament with Jesus. But I wanted to make sure this is clear. Only stay if, if you can stay. If you have to go, Jesus is working you. I'm about to bless you. Uh, but for those who can stay, what do you want to ask Jesus? So just imagine you're giving your request. And just imagine just the outpouring of grace of God filling you according to your requests. Ask and you shall receive, but it takes faith. If all our eyes and ears and attention are the Lord, what do you want to ask him? So quiero explicar antes de entrar en este momento sagrado. Voy a empezar con la bendición por los que tienen que salir. Está bien, no hay, pueden salir porque es tarde. Pero los que quieren quedarse, yo voy a pasar, es decir, Jesús va a pasar. ¿Qué quieres pedir a Jesús? Entrega con todos tus ojos, oídos, concentración, atención, corazón en Jesús. Y imagina con fe su respuesta, su, su amor por ti. Pidan y van a recibir. El Señor esté con ustedes. Y la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso descienden sobre ustedes, el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo. Amén. Pueden ir en la paz. Y gracias, familia, gracias por este privilegio de celebrar con ustedes. Really, thank you. Thank you for this privilege to, to celebrate. You really are so special and loved by Jesus. So with faith now, receive his love. So again, I invite you to kneel before our Lord. Or if, you, if it helps, you can sit also. The, the intention is not the outside as much as the inside. So pueden sentarse o arrodillarse, no importa más que toda tu reverencia y atención y devoción a Jesús.
Oh
not be afraid, little flock, for it gives your Father great pleasure to give you the kingdom. Do not be afraid, O little flock, for it gives my Father great pleasure to give you the kingdom. Do not be afraid. It gives you, it gives your Father great pleasure to give you his kingdom. Si no tengan miedo, porque tu Padre Celestial, rebanito, tu Padre Celestial, con gran placer, te dará su reino. No temen, rebanito, porque tu Padre Celestial, con mucho placer, les dará su reino. No temen, no tengan miedo, porque tu Padre les dará su reino. Lord, we thank you all we thank you every hour we thank you our one defense our righteousness oh God how we thank you Glory al Padre al Hijo y el Espíritu Santo, como en el principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Por los siglos de los siglos. Por los siglos de los siglos.